Hello YouTube and welcome to <laughs> Sonic 7. Yeah. For the record this came out long before Sonic 06 was a thing, but there's oh sorry, sorry, the full name is Sonic Adventure 7, according to Fandom. This is a bootleg uh, Sonic Game Boy Color game. Uh, that's all the more I know about it. Apparently copyright 1999. <laughs> I doubt that it was copyrighted by any this was copyrighted by anyone. But, regardless, I'm going to go ahead and start torturing myself with this for your guys' entertainment. So, without further ado, let's begin. Start. Alright, the music's just terrific. And these still images are clearly, like, I think that's, this one's ripped from Sonic 3D Blast. Did the music just slow down? Anyway, the same image ripped from Sonic 3D Blast, but now it has a ring around it. And they didn't bother picking, they, they really didn't bother like, I, I doubt that this color palette for that picture was hand-selected by any means. I'm pretty sure there's applied a random palette that was in the game. Without further ado... Yeah. Wow, the way the sprite loads in, like, it doesn't load Sonic's animations all the way in all at once. You can see the Game Boy, like, gobble up the sprite. I don't know if that's the emulation or if the ROM's really that just that bad, but damn. Oh. Okay. I guess we're following the. Are we? Oh, are we using Sonic rules or Mario rules for jumping on enemies here? I, d I don't really want to waste the live trying to find that out, but I imagine spikes. Oh. Oh, there's a moving platform that doesn't start moving until it's on screen. So there's a leap of faith for you right there. God. Ah! Oh, got the rings. As long as I hold one ring, it's fine. Yeah. Wow. This someone's attempt to cash in. I feel bad for any kids that. Ah! Duck. No! Ah, it didn't quite touch me yet. There's still a pixel. There was still one pixel at least. I have to look back at the footage of that, but I swear to God, there was at least one pixel between me and it. I mean, I get. They, I guess they just made the hit. I guess maybe his. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess his spine probably just doesn't hit the edge of his sprite, and they just made the whole sprite box the collision. Wonderful. Wow. I never noticed how the sprites for Sonic load in on this before. Like, wow. Also, no, you can't roll into a ball while you're running. Can oh, okay, yes you can. Okay, the spin dash is... Oh, wait, what? Okay, if you let go of down first, you just jump. Excellent programming right there. Okay. No, no! Ah! Ah, this game is friggin' bullhooey. The controls are just so bad and stiff. You, you don't have very much maneuverability at all in this. Okay, well, let's see. Da -da. Bop. There we go. Getting a little bit used to it. Make the platform. Ah! Damn! <laughs> God, how does this game make such a simple and straightforward jump just so hard to pull off? Like, you technically have a bit of... You don't have... I guess, you, for one, you don't have any control of your momentum. You really have this walk speed and run speed, and while you're jumping, you only have the run speed, and you just kind of turn around, and you have to... Same with, there's, like, no sense of acceleration in it. Oh, there we... Ah! There we go. I suppose if you do that exact movement, you can make it across. Nope. Okay. There we go. 
What? I fell through that! What the freaking hell? You can't trust anything in this damn game. Uh. But I do have to say, this is a faithful... This is a faithful... Nah, uh, who am I kidding? Song of Six is better than this crap. Song of Six has good music for one, if nothing else. Like, I'm sure we can use... Even people who hate Song of Six can agree with me on that one. And... Dare I say, like... See, this is... This shows that at least... This, this right here shows that there was at least some effort put in Sonic 06. I mean, I get this is a 2D game for the Game Boy, but this, this is like, you know, this is what no effort looks like right here. And I don't just mean, the, I mean, yes, I know it's on Game Boy, but I mean, you know, color palette. I know the Game Boy's color palette is much more pleasing than this. I mean, literally, and not only that, but every enemy sprite uses the same damn colors. And the same colors as the stage, so you got... You can't tell me that the, you know, Game Boy wasn't capable of producing more colors on screen than this. I mean, I, I do I do have to give him some credit. The background is nicely drawn, but that's pretty much the only thing good about this game. Put that in the back of the hypothetical box. The backgrounds look pretty good. But... Yeah. Uh, grab a ring, grab a ring, grab a... Ugh. I can't trust whether or not there's check... Oh, that's a very awkward spike placement. No! All the way at the beginning! Friggin' hell! I have no idea... I, uh, like, this... I have no idea... Like, I have no way of knowing how long the stage is, whether or not there... Whether or not there is checkpoints. If there is a checkpoint, is it like halfway through, or do I have to beat the level like 90% to get it? Like, I don't know. Is there another stage after this? I don't even know that much. I did literally no research going into this, other than that this game existed. Oh, damn it! Ah! This game is just so poorly put together. Like, I, I, there's nothing, see, here's the thing, is there's nothing, I feel like there's nothing more frustration than when you screw up the game and you feel like it's not your, that you have, you know, you feel like it is the game, in fact, the game, <laughs> freaking hell! I feel like it's the game's fault, and in this case, I feel like pretty much every death is the game's fault. Like, it's just so stiff. The most basic platforming becomes brutally difficult because you don't have a lot of control over how you jump. You just have the one... Ah! Whoa, whoa, wait, what? 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 I jumped off the spike when I got hit and saved myself. Ah, that fell through the platform! This game is freaking dumb as all hell. Oh, that... I'll respawn to enemies, too. So, at least they don't respawn if they're only on screen, though. I... Is there really a... Is there ever more than two enemies on screen? Yeah! Oh god, I'm... I... You know, this is one of those games that I actually feel like I shouldn't be getting good at this game. Ah! Damn, that freaking fall into that damn platform! I mean, if this beginning part of the level is actually fun, I mean, it wouldn't be nearly as frustrating, but... I I'm just kind of doing this. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, and this is, and this is like, you know, this came out before you're likely to even have parents that understood what video games were. Like now, like, the typical, like, you know, I mean, yeah, there's still a lot of parents that don't know what video games are because they just simply don't care, but, you know, they're, you're more likely to have parents that grew up, that grew up playing at least some sort of video game, even if that's only, like, Tetris, than you were. What? The platform wasn't even there. It didn't spawn in the platform. But anyway, I was saying before, like, this is the time where companies really could take advantage of the lack of media around games and awareness among the non-gaming parents as to be able to check games. But at least now, like, even if you're a parent and you don't, like, know anything about video games, you can at least go online and check reviews and, and have a rough idea of whether or not a game is actually, you know, good or hell, if it's even a legit game. What? What? Ugh. This... And here's the thing that drives me nuts about this kind of thing, too, is how little care is put into making this stuff. Like, I mean, there can be a good rip-off game. Someone could take, take something and be like, you know, I'm gonna steal Sega's character. And I'm going to try to make this good, but, I mean, this is a thing that had to be programmed. They at least tested it enough to make sure the code ran. You know what I mean? Like, I know what coding is. It, you can't make, you can't make something this complex. You can't make something like this without testing it. And someone had to have tested this, said that this was good enough, and sh shipped it out. Like, I know it's a bootleg trying to make a quick buck, but, I mean... You're telling me no one who worked, like, even if it was only one guy. You're telling me, like, the guy programming this literally had no passion in his, pro in his coding at all? Anyway, thanks for making it to the end of this for me. Please. Uh, I don't even know. Please check out my other videos. I'm gonna friggin' put this game away. And try not to think about it anymore. I mean, I broke it, like... Pokemon Adventure, at least, I could get through the first stage, and there was some satisfaction in at least being like, hey, I defeated the challenge. This just freaking... Ah! Bye, everyone. Oh, bleh, bye, everyone.